Okay, little dog, we're going to do this again. Alright guys, I am really getting fucking sick and tired of these motherfucking camera batteries. Uh, they, 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 they say they're fully charged. The little fucking green light is on the charger. And I come in here and, and, and I do a rant. And about 10 minutes into the fucking rant, the battery fucking dies. I guess these goddamn uh, camera batteries, uh, I'm assuming I can go on Amazon and get some new camera batteries. How many fucking times has this happened now? Uh, if, if the motherfucking camera battery crashes in this fucking rat, I, just fuck it. I'm not going to do this again. Uh, anyway, let me start over. I don't know how long I was fucking talking to myself uh, in, in, in this rant. Maybe this is the universe just giving me, trying to tell me, Hambone, don't do it. Just don't fucking do it. But I am who I am. Uh, sorry, Sandy. Uh, I've just, I've, I've just got to say it. So it is now, uh, it is now 930 at night on uh, Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. So, uh, the, the night after the great debate. So, uh, this morning, in my review of the debate I ever saw, that I never saw, you, you know, I brought up uh, my, I, I've had the rant, uh, now here I am having it again about uh, how I think, you know, I, I am the most pro-abortion person on the planet, uh, and I just think that abortion doesn't go nearly far enough and that they need to increase the term limit to five years. Not uh, six weeks, not 12, 12 weeks, five fucking years for, for women to exercise their reproductive rights. You, you know, uh, after the kid is born, uh, that they should be able to try it out for a for a couple of years, and I guarantee fucking to you within five years of uh, having that goddamn kid, they're gonna realize that bringing this little fucking brat uh, onto this planet was the biggest mistake they ever made in their fucking life, and I I just think it should be federal law. That a that a mother uh, has the legal right just to change her mind any time in the first five years, and just you, you know, uh, in the privacy of her own home, the government has no business coming into the privacy of our own homes, just changing her mind. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I understand that um, that's probably not going to happen uh, with, with either, either Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. We, let's say, so Donald Trump, what does he want? He wants, he, he wants the, the taxpayers or somebody just to start paying for IVF treatments for people who can't have babies, and then Kamala Harris... You know, she's just for uh, just for the American taxpayers, just ponying up six thousand dollars for any woman on this in this country who wants to have a kid. Uh, any woman in this country who wants to have a kid, the taxpayers owe her six thousand fucking dollars. Can you imagine every fucking little uh, little tweaker? A uh, little meth head, trailer trash, uh, the, the, these uh, or, or these welfare queens 
or uh, what, what do they call it? This wick. Uh, these welfare mothers and all of this shit, their their ears pricking up like goddamn. Uh, like all I got to do is find a hard dick, and, and uh, I I got six thousand dollars of fucking meth. Uh, thank you to the American taxpayer. So that's Kamala Harris's. Uh, that that that's her view on uh, that. We just need as many babies. No questions asked. You have a fucking baby in this country, and, and we're going to give you six thousand uh, dollars. So I'm, I'm a little unclear how uh, Kamala Harris can say she's still pro-abortion anyway. But at least until this morning, I was fucking pro-abortion, and I guess. Uh, well, probably. I think, uh, shouldn't tell this story, uh, this will probably crash the battery and getting into this story. I'll try to keep it short. So I've mentioned before that I have only dealt with uh, this, this goddamn uh, abortion headache once in my life, but thank God it was available. So I was 18 years old. I was 18 years old. And my friend, my 31-year-old lesbian friend, she was the daughter of a very well-known and well-respected federal judge in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, she and I found ourselves up at my cabin in North Georgia. We were going rafting down the Chattahoochee River the next morning. And we were sitting around, you know, having a few beers. Nothing much to do. So she came up with the idea, my 31-year-old lesbian, well, Hamon, you know, it's just the two of us. Would you do me a favor? And I said, what's that? And she said, do you mind sticking your dick into me? And I... And I <laughs> And I said, oh, uh, I, I, I said, well, uh, I, I said, darling, you know, there's, there, there's one problem here that obviously I didn't bring any fucking condoms. I'm up here with my lesbian uh, friend, and she assured me that she, she knew that uh, there was no way she was getting pregnant that night, it, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, and, and, and I should have been suspicious. Why would a, why would a fucking lesbian have any idea uh, about the rhythm method? But you know, guys, it's just the kind of guy I am. I, I, I do favors for friends. So if, uh, if, if my lesbian friend uh, asked me to uh, stick my dick in her, you know, it's it's just the kind of guy I am. Okay, I was doing a favor for a friend. I it, it, it was nowhere on my mind. But what the hell? It's not that hard for an 18-year-old walking hard on to uh to to stick his dick in uh in, in, in his lesbian friend. And we know exactly where the fucking story is going. And good fucking God. And uh, thank God uh, this would have been in 1978, I guess. Uh, thank God that abortion was legal in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and... But you better believe that whole experience had a lot to do with me uh, starting to look for someone to give me, a, a doctor to give me a vasectomy, which took four long years. Uh, anyone who hasn't heard that story about my vasectomy, I think you can look up the video. Vasectomy is not for pussies. Vasectomy is not for pussies. Uh, find the tale of, uh, of one of the craziest nights of my entire life. 
making the greatest decision I ever did to get a vasectomy at age 22, the number one best decision I've ever made. So anyway, uh, once again, I've, I've gotten completely off track here. So anyway, the bottom line is I have been very pro-abortion for my whole life. Okay, uh, don't, don't, don't kid yourself. So anyway, I, I did this rant today about, you know, wanting to extend the abortion term limit to five years. And uh, a, a, a couple of alert readers kind of blew the ain't gonna happen whistle on me and sent me this article from Yahoo News this morning, uh, and apparently it went right under my radar. States with abortion bans saw a rise in tubal sterilizations after Roe versus Wade, Wade was overturned. New study finds, and, and I remember uh, reporting on this with uh, the rush for men to get vasectomies after this happened. Uh, when was that? Back in 22. About uh, that, you, you know, Donald Trump's hand picked Supreme Court uh, made that decision, and you better believe. You, you, all of these men, thousands of men, running to the vasectomy clinic. Uh, and then, just kind of lost track, and uh, I'm really disappointed with the reporter by not following up on the vasectomy end of it, but uh, I guess Natalie Rahal is looking at women, at women choosing sterilization when abortion is no longer available. Rates of sterilization procedures soared nationwide after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade and its constitutional protection for abortion rights in June 22, and they link you over to that. Maybe they talk about the vasectomies over there. New research now finds that is especially true for women living in states with laws that banned abortion after the Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization decision. The study published today, September 11th, in the Journal of the American Medical Association, found that the rate of permanent sterilization procedures continued to climb by 3% uh, each month through the end of 22 in states where abortion is banned. Um, okay, here's what to know about sterilization and talking about female sterilization and why the research suggests to experts that the court's decision to overturn Roe is impacting women, especially in states that have banned or restricted abortion well beyond access to the procedure. So what is female sterilization? The term refu refers to one of two surgical procedures uh, performed on women, both of which prevent pregnancy, of course, getting your tubes tied, tubal ligation, or just getting your uh, fallopian tubes just removed altogether. Both forms of female sterilization are considered permanent because they are difficult 
if not impossible to reverse. However, they may not be as effective as once thought. God damn it. More than 8% of women became pregnant within 10 years of undergoing sterilization, one recent study found. Those damn fallopian tubes do know how to get back together. And while the procedures are considered very safe, they do require surgery and are performed under either local or general anesthesia, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now this, uh, I, I did not know. And, and, and I'm kind of reaching for the bullshit button here, but this is some goddamn good news. Uh, sterilization is the most popular form of contraception in the United States and has consistently been the top choice since 1982 which is when uh, I got uh, my vasectomy, according uh, to data from some place called the Gut Mocker Institute. I don't believe for one fucking minute I am blowing the bullshit detector button. I don't believe for one fucking minute that sterilization is the most popular form of contraception in the U.S. today and has been the top choice since 1982. No fucking way. Bullshit detected. Uh, anyway. Uh, so what did the new study find? Like previous research, the study found a dramatic spike in, tub in tubal sterilizations across the U.S. immediately after Roe fell, but this latest paper is distinct because it shows the differing rates in states with and without abortion bans or restrictions. Uh, for at least six months following the Dobbs decision, sterilization rates continued to, to rise by 3% per month in states with abortion bans following an 8% spike in the month after the decision. Uh, between July and December, 2022 rates continued to trend upward in other states also, but less dramatically, the researchers found. And I wish we had some more up-to-date statistics since December of 2022. Anyway, uh, study co-author Zhao Zhu tells Yahoo, yeah, blah, 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 quote, the main implication of this research is that policy decisions like Dobbs can have a broader impact and broader implications beyond abortion and affect women's health care decisions. Uh, the new study did not answer whether the Dobbs decision, you know, in fact caused more people to get sterilized. Huh. But, quote, what we're seeing is that people don't want to get into a situation of needing a, an abortion and not being able to obtain one, said Gretchen Borchelt, vice president of the Women's Law Center. Uh, she adds that the upward trend in sterilizations is likely to continue. Uh,
Borschelt suspects that concerns over abortion access are not the only driving force behind the uptick in sterilizations. Federal law uh, expanded in 2010 by the Affordable Care Act now requires many insurers to cover 18 forms of female controlled contraception, including sterilization at little or no cost to the patient. There are some exceptions, however, yeah. Uh, quote, the AC, the Affordable Care Act, has put sterilization on an equal cost level with other forms of contraception where it once would have been cost prohibitive, close quote. Uh, anyway, Borschelt says the Dobbs decision is still, quote, upending our society and has opened up a broader conversation. And that is what we're doing here. So guys, anyway, uh, so these alert readers saying, okay, uh, Mr. Eco-Nazi, what do you think of this? And well, guys, I, I, I mean, after thinking about it all day, I, I, I have no choice but to cheer on Dobbs. Fuck Roe versus Wade. The Roe versus Wade probably kept more people from getting sterilized than any fucking uh, Supreme Court decision. Uh, there's probably more goddamn people uh, on, on, on this planet today because of Roe versus Wade. Than, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, you know, I, I have no choice. Uh, we need a complete ban on abortion in every state uh, in, in, in this country and every country on this planet. We need a global wide immediate ban on abortions on this planet. Uh, and you will see sterilization rates go through the fucking roof. And uh, I would say, you know, make it for the next, let's just see where we are. You know, I mean, you know, it's kind of like the five-year term limit. We should have a right to, to see how we're doing. So, Let's make it for 20 years. For the next 20 years, I think uh, it, 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 abortion needs to be completely banned and see uh, how many uh, people, uh, men and women, get sterilized when they don't have this little get out of jail free card like me and my lesbian friend had. If, uh, you know, if I had been sterilized before I ever fucked that woman, she never would have gotten pregnant. You know? Never, never would have had to deal with a goddamn abortion. If, if I had been firing blanks into that damn lesbian. This is, uh, it, it, it's just simple math, guys. I'm sorry, it's simple fucking math. There's too many fucking people on this fucking planet. We got to start thinking out of the fucking box. Ban abortion. So, uh. Anyway, uh, but well, I mean, we, we, we should also ban uh, IVF treatments 
and we sure as shit should ban paying six thousand dollars to some fucking tweaker trailer trash uh, for getting knocked up. You know, guys, we need to start making some tough fucking decisions on this planet. We need to have a serious discussion. It's time for uh, a serious fucking discussion. No more abortions. Get yourself sterilized. If you can't keep your fucking pecker in your pants, you can't keep from letting your knickers down, and, and you don't have your little get-out-of-jail-free card, get sterilized. It takes about 20 minutes. Anyway. Well, I really got nothing more to say. Except I get out there and enjoy getting sterilized while you still can before they make sterilization illegal, which is what I'm sure uh, a lot of people in this country, I guarantee you there's a lot of fucking people who want to make sterilization legal. Like somewhere in Project 25, I'm quite sure. Anyway, I gotta go to bed. Bye, guys. What do you think, little dog? Should we make sterilization legal? You know, Pop, I don't know. I'm sterilized and, uh, best decision I ever made, too. Bye, guys.